Hey guys, how are you? Today I'm going to be showing you some affordable makeup gems that I have been loving and I'm going to create this look so I hope you like it and I hope you enjoy. Alright, so for sunscreen I have been letting that sit for about 20 minutes or so and this is my go-to favorite sunscreen. It's glowy, it's tinted, um, and it's nice for my sensitive skin. Now we're going into the Flower Beauty Concealer, which I've really been loving. It's a full coverage but uh, lightweight concealer, and I love this brush by BH Cosmetics. It's the number five brush, but I don't think you can get it outside of the little kit that it comes in. This has been the best way I've been able to apply my concealer without it looking too thick or um, you know creasing very heavily. But also, I think the concealer, this concealer, makes a big difference. Recently, I've just been using a little bit of whatever is left on my concealer brush to prime my eyelids. I haven't been using an eyeshadow primer. Now we have the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. Super affordable. Very surprising on how well it wears and how good it looks. So this is definitely a gem. And pretty much, I always apply my concealer and foundation in the same way. I'll put it on my palette and then work the brush into the product or the product into the brush, however you wanna say it, and then just kind of stipple it in and use light pressure. The reason I use a palette instead of the back of my hand is because honestly, I'll forget to wash my hand and then walk around with stuff all over it until I remember it or see it. Now we've got the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Lotion, and this is in Fair Glow. I have the one that's darker, but um, for now I'm just using this one. And I totally meant to do this before foundation, but I forgot. Um, but it still works this way, so it's just a very natural lit from within look. And I actually compared it to the Say uh, Glowy Lotion or something like that. Um, and it was, in my opinion, a dupe. Um, maybe it's a little bit thicker, but also it doesn't smell like the Say. Um, the Say has a kind of bad smell, in my opinion, so I really like this as a dupe. Now we're going into the Honest Beauty Everything Cream Foundation in the color Almond, and I'm going to use it as a bronzer. I've really been loving adding a little coverage with a foundation that is darker in order to bronze um, because I have dark spots on my cheek that I really like to cover up pretty well, but as naturally as possible. All right, this is the e.l.f. Cream Blush Palette, and it just says soft, so I'm guessing that's the color scheme, but I love these cream blushes. Um, they go on easily, blend in very well, and they last a long time. I think the biggest reason I love this little blush quad is because um, it's very user friendly and I tend to be very hesitant with the amount of blush that I put on. 
and it just makes it easy to go in slowly and build it up to you know a level that I'm comfortable with. All right, now we're going into the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the color Light Medium. I don't have my thoughts um, completely formed on this product, uh, so I wouldn't say it's my, my gem, like my go-to product, but it is definitely affordable, and I've heard really good things about it. And this is how I always apply my powder, is I'll take my loose brush and work it some product into it, tap it in the T-zone and then work it everywhere else. Then I'll go in with my little puff, work some product into that. Work it into the puff really well. And then in a somewhat firm way, just press that in, start, starting with the T-zone, but then eventually pressing it in everywhere. And I find that this really helps make everything look more seamless and natural. All right, this is the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Blush Lighter in I Met Someone. I love this combination. I swirl the brush into both colors, and then I just hit the high points. And for me, the best way to put a highlighting powder on is to really spend some time buffing it in. This highlighter is definitely a gem. It just makes it look like your skin is wet. So I guess it's like the glass skin look. But again, I'm, I'm just emphasizing like a lit from within look. This is the Essence The Blush in the color Beloved. And this is so inexpensive, but beautiful. I love this color. It's a more natural color for me, which I love. And because I already put the cream blush down before, this is gonna help things last even longer. This is the Milani Silky Matte Suntan Bronzer, and I'm just going to use it to put in my crease on my lid. I love this bronzer as an overall bronzer, but I really love it on my lid. I could use this all the time as a one and done eyeshadow. All right, and I love this palette. It is the Revlon So Fierce Prismatic Palette in Slight Flex, and this color is one of the most beautiful shades to top your shadow off with. It's just multi-dimensional, makes the eyelid look wet. And I can't seem to stop reaching for this collab grand finale three-in-one setting spray. It's from Sally's Beauty and it's not super long lasting, but the spray, the nozzle on it is just so perfect. Uh, you get such a light spray and the finish is natural. 
you know, it's not too dewy, it's not mattifying. It's so beautiful, I love it. And then as that's drying, I always push up my eyebrows or brush through them. And I will curl my eyelashes. And you'll actually notice that I'm not gonna use any mascara today. I don't always, don't always feel like it. I love the Essence mascaras. They're my favorite at this point. Although I'm in the middle of trying quite, quite a few different ones. And as far as brow gel goes, I have tried the e.l.f. Wow Brow, but it's not, it doesn't really hold them up, you know, for a very long time. The color is good, the brush is good, but to me it doesn't, it doesn't beat my boy brow um, from Glossier, so I couldn't really recommend that as my gem product. All right, so we have the NYX Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Color Lip Liner in Nude Suede Shoes. And this just kind of gives a blurred look to the edges of my lips, which I really like. All right, one of my favorites and definitely a gem is the Revlon Super Lustrous Matte. And this is the number four, it's called Wild Thoughts. And it's uh, very comfortable, it's not drying. I only put a little bit on just to add a little color, um, but that's exactly how I like it. Just deciding to put on a little bit more blush. All right, so this is the final look. If you have any questions about anything that I use, let me know. I hope you enjoyed and until next time.